No, I just can't. <laughs> just not be uh, I bet. We will be fighting Evan Dun Dunham. Yeah, 39? Jeez. Alright, maybe four weeks ago. I don't really care. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo! I went from fighting a two star to three and a half. Okay, I'm getting that Patty Pimlet treatment. Oh, I really enjoyed that first fight. I'm gonna lie, I really enjoyed that first fight. Uh, Freddy's coupons. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Wait, what? It, what it did Gaethje? Gaethje was the one who did that nasty ass knockout against Vic, right? Or was that somebody else? I know I, I think it's Vic, right? Oh my god, that. Whoo! It was a haymaker, right? Bro, correct me in the comments, bro. But I think it was a haymaker. I know I ain't tripping. It had to be a haymaker. Uh. I say decision. Bro. I say decision. He, he's a fool. Like, bro, I want a decision with a two star, bro. <laughs> I want a decision with a two star, bro. Hey, bro, come on, bro. I'm down bad, bro. Let's watch his tape, bro. Alright, he's a jujitsu. What's his main overhand? The guillotine elbow hook. Okay. Is he orthodox? What does it say? Let's get this, this fight at least low. <laughs> but is it anybody's dream to be a UFC fight? I, I, I would like to be a UFC commentator. <laughs> at most. I will be dope, bro. Because you get to see like the fight, right? Grappling, three-starter. We start striking health. If you had any type of like mastering one martial arts like like jujitsu, wrestling, kickboxing, boxing, like wh which one y'all pick? Who would y'all pick, bro? In my opinion, I have to go wrestling. I have to go wrestling. <laughs> I'm just on media. Hey, I'll, ha I'll have to go wrestling. If not wrestling, my second option will probably be. Kickboxing. Just to be like, just to be like a dope, like a cool ass. Uh, a cool ass uh what's it called a cool ass style fighter bro like like wonder boy i'm up i got distracted <laughs> like wonder boy connor early connor mostly bro like ain't nobody gonna tell me like early connor mcgregor was not dope bro like before the money got to him he was a fun fighter to watch bro really enjoyable bro hey his trash talking was crazy too bro the fighter comes out in the second round with a high intensity and look for a quick finish. Otherwise, put the fire on the in the takedown in the second round. Damn, I'm not trying to do no takedowns, bro. Be honest with you, buddy. <laughs> I don't know about that one, coach. Oh no. <laughs> Damn. Alright, man. I guess we'll go to the fight. Oh yo, month 31. Oh, DC got a big ass head, bro. <laughs> and Paul Felder got some nice beard, bro. <laughs> bro, every time I seen John Anik, I just remember the time just John Jones just pushed him out the way, bro. <laughs> I just remember that vision. It's a UFC lightweight oh division my god, bro. <laughs> Look at them, 
Imagine you just going down that stage, the stage, the arena. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Hey, bro. Oh, shit, he's good for you. Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gotta do that. Hey, we confident, bro. All right, ready to go here for round one. He won his last fight by decision. It was dominant, but the finish didn't materialize. Now, with momentum, he is ready to make another UFC start. Can he get the finish tonight? A stoppage would certainly be useful as he tries to take his career to the next level. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, Guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch is the first one you learn is a jab. Right? And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective Ooh. weapon. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Hey. Oh, watch his head move. <laughs> really shaped like that. Ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Pretty good nah, with the no strikes here. <laughs> yeah, I ain't go for no Kimura, bro. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, Yo! <laughs> what a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Yeah, I got you. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Ooh, oh, damn, bro. That takedown's take down always going to be there. What are you trying to do to prevent that? Side? You got to be so aware defensively. Because if you're not, the moment you're out of position, a guy like this will find those takedowns with those trips in all kinds of different scenarios. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Yo. Oh, that's got to be oh, discouraging yeah, as he gets right back yeah, up it. again. Beautiful strike. And they separate. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, that lead right hand is money tonight. Oh, hurt. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop. Second round, straight ahead. I'm biased. I'll say I won that round, but I, I can see how it could be a draw. Some of the highlights he has had his I can see how it could be a draw. Early and often tonight. Nah, man. I mean, man. Point, right? uh, he knew that this was going to be a way for him to take the draw. Nah, I for sure wasn't. Right, no, <laughs> our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch that record tonight. For sure. That was some serious volume and efficiency. For sure, for sure. Normally, you see that oh, in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon. Looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Oh, yeah, take that. Body kick is blocked. Nice head oh. kick. Oh, my God. Back to the feet now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. 
Just missed with the straight left hand. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight. Oh. His timing is on point. Ooh, what a punch. All right, single collar tie now. Oh. Back and forth we go. Bro, he's gonna go for that take down. Oh, man, uh, hate to be hit with one of those thieves to the body. And he comes through with a big knee. I'm trying to like find that. Oh. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. He's I'm headhunting him. <laughs> Oh, I keep thinking he's not just like Bucky over here, bro. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, okay. and starting to find his range here in the pocket. All right, so ah, he got that. Double leg take down there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Great punch landing with so much power. Dunham's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot mm -hmm. stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Oh yeah! Ah! An attack in the bar. Nah, man. Hold on. I, I, I gotta get this finish, bro. Fuck. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Nice hammer fist. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh! Uh, oh yeah! And there it is. He's done. He's done. Beat him with his own poison, man. Right? Yeah, you've got to admire the focus and the commitment yeah. to getting oh, the finish. Air game, right? he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier <laughs> in the round, but he didn't want to rush oh, him, so God, he sets it up man. beautifully, lets it materialize hey. almost to I get the dug, I get the dug. He gets the desired result. All right, so a wild round and oh, a wild right. sequence. Yeah, I thought that he was going to finish me like that. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't well, he was gonna win that round, bro. Just because, just alone from the takedowns alone. And I think. Damn, yeah, break his arm. Damn. Mm -mm, bro. Here once more, Bruce Buff. I won that, bro. That's GG, bro. Man, I messed up his face. Look, look at me. I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. I'm straight chilling, bro. All right, so there he is, all smiles oh, wow. and rightfully so after he gets the job done by...